And we're back. Some more raft. And today we're going to finish our exploration of this area. Uh, so I'm going to just skip it forward while I get back to where we were. And here we are. I'm going to try and avoid the robots for now. And what I want to do is, yep, this is it. I've been advised there's exits here and we can pop them open. This will make getting back in less of me having to crawl through the belly of this place again. Cool. Uh, don't see a raft. I think I'm just gonna skirt the outside edge of this and pop all the doors. And this should make life much easier. And I should maybe do a little bit more scouting. There's crates and stuff piled up like this. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of secrets I'm missing. Ooh, this looks promising. And there's our llamas right there. This means we should be easily able to get back to our boat anytime we want. Restock, repair, rearm, refuel, all of it. And yet still haven't... Those robots are kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Yeah, we can... Yeah, that's perfect. Excellent. Now, let's start exploring this place proper. Now that we've got an easy retreat path, let's start our assault on uh, scavenging this place for everything that's left. Four shots to kill these guys, and we're going to go through the bow really quickly at this rate. Okay, here. At least we've got loads of cards. I've been... Uh, I, I may have took out a few more bots along the way as we were going around the edges, so we right now we are up to... Five. Yeah, so we got five key cards. Let's go looting. There's got to be some places around here with doors that we can access. Oh, okay, this is... This is a bit creepy. It's like a guy with golden sunglasses and a cape bringing a golden uh, serving platter? The kid's name is Detto. How someone his age was able to reconstruct an engine like that? I'll never know. But now we've got the boat working. We'll be gathering up a few more survivors before we head off. The rafters either hid up in the apartments or left to sea. Most of them seemed sick. No wonder they were so desperate. We need to hurry. Those large rats that came with the rafters are aggressive. I say let them chew Tangaroa into pieces. I'm coming for you, Hana. Remember the place we heard about? The sanctuary? We'll meet there. I know it. I'll see you there. Utopia. Well, this is interesting. Some of those coins we've been picking up along the way for the vending machine, which gives food, water, uh, some potted plants, and I have no idea what those things are. Hmm. Door is locked from your side. Well, why, of course it is. All right, we'll keep exploring, and we'll figure out our way in there at some point. But for now, uh, raid every single apartment building we come across and see what's in there. I've also been advised to look around the elevators really carefully. Hmm. Nope, nothing. This place feels very electric-y. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Nothing major, two floors available, let's go! Now, someone said something about the elevators and keep an eye out for extra buttons or hidden buttons. I'm not seeing anything, but I will try and keep my eyes open more. I tend to just rush through things and grab whatever is necessary to and leave. Any rats? No, no, we're golden. A uh, quick exploration, rip everything out of here, kill anything that gets in the way. Nope, we are golden on rats so far. Oh, this is a big room. Coconut beet? Oh my god, the amount of food. Nice. Should have found this last time. I could have stayed out long. Actually, no, I couldn't have stayed out lo longer last time. Reason being, we just sort of, well, run out of inventory space. Someone raised a very important question. Why do people in rich apartments have stone arrowheads in their closets? Um, no idea. It seems like something that's a little bit anachronistic, but hey, so long as it works for them, we'll take them. Even though we'll never use them. Finally, three pieces of duct tape. Eh, token. I feel like I'm missing some stuff around here. I need to be far, far, far more vigilant. Come on. You can literally see the duct tape across there. We need to get out there somehow and get that duct tape. Eh, hey, we got biofuel, biofuel, leather, leather, and a hinge. That's actually very profitable. This scavenging business is pretty handy sometimes. Pretty sure I heard a rat around here somewhere. Oh, we have no reflection. So we're a vampire. That would actually explain a lot about how we survive on the high seas, but not the whole sunlight thing. I get the feeling that this game was developed by a very, very small team. Like, tiny. And they dedicated everything they had to, well, just getting the game out. 
I mean, even a mirror like this, I remember in Duke Nukem, they had, had mirrors. And that's, that's ancient. That thing's so old. More duct tape. Excellent. And I'm pretty sure that open window is our next destination. Reason being, well, we want to jump across to the other building. What do you got? Oh, yeah, I think this is actually the last area to explore anyway, so... Yeah, let's see what's out here. Ooh. Yeah. Let's not fall. That would sting a little bit. Uh, how do I... Huh. Parkour for the win. Yep. There's a ratatouille. Fighting fair is for the for the weak. I am more than happy to shoot them from a ledge. Now, what else was up here? Oh, zip lines. Nice. Combining mechanics from multiple areas. Okay, well let's go. Our zip line tool. I didn't bring it with me. Why did I unequip the zip? Mm. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Yay! Now, let's see what this place has. Oh, this must be how we get there. It's got to be. There's a cable I can see just faintly going across there. That must be how we get to the tower. I do have the duct tape necessary, though, to... Oh, what's this? Never mind. We do have the, uh, the duct tape necessary to go down and patch up some stuff downstairs, but I am not bothered going down there just yet. What do you guys got? Even more duct tape? Well, we should hopefully doubly have enough duct tape. Why do I have a strange feeling there's going to be rats here? We're in an office building. There's going to be rats. You just know it. As someone said, they prefer to kill the rats with the machete. So I'm going to give that a go. And after I get horrifically hurt because I'm doing it all wrong, I'll uh, go back to the bow. More duct tape. Seriously, what kind of stuff were these people into? The amount of duct tape they just leave randomly lying about the place. Don't they know how useful that stuff is? Oh, here's one. Okay, that actually was not too bad. Though I'm still going to use the bow for a bit now because I want the bow to dis disintegrate as well. Our bow and our machete were almost gone, so now this should be easier. Oh no. All these office drawers open. You monsters, why would you do this to me? Ah. Uh, I, I don't want to say this is the worst. There's definitely worse things than this, but it, it it is going to be one of those things where I won't be able to help myself. Who carries rocks into the office? Because maybe they're a geologist or something? And even more duct tape. What are we even up to on the duct tape front? Eight? I think it's three to do each one, so there's either... Well, there's got to be three pieces of... Uh, duct tapeable material left at least somewhere or we're gonna end up with excess duct tape could happen all right let's get out of here i think we have explored everywhere that's actually a nice little touch elevator tells you where it is floor 12 more office stuff oh no it's gonna have all these drawers again isn't it ah uh, yeah give me five oh there's one over there I'll try and do my hoarding in quiet, but uh, I'm going to have to go through every single drawer. I can't help it. Even though it's pointless and I shouldn't be doing it, I'm still going to... Well, after I kill this rat. Well, well, well. I think this is what we've been looking for, right? Nope. Nope. Just some titanium ore and random choke. I was really hoping that would be a blueprint or something to help upgrade the raft. And you were just... More... Junk. Okay, let's say coconut and some stuff. We have a lot of junk here. Uh, has your raft gotten stuck? This will help. No, I don't need a paddle. A uh, cooked potato, damn it, and a coconut. You know what? Let's just start eating some of this junk. That looks like a delicious meal. Yum. I don't know what that was. Uh, we're going to dump the rocks. I think we're good on the rock front. Uh, let's hope we don't need any of that stuff. Did we find a fishing rod going around here? That seems very straight. Never mind. Let's see where the next location is to go to. We need to go to that building over there. So that building there, there has to be some way to access it. And since I don't see a wire going from here to there, we need to get down to the base of that building. Ooh. So, yes, we need to get into that building somehow. Okay, then. 
At least we have a goal. No, I think our first goal is to go back to the raft, dump off all the current supplies we're holding on to, and then sleep until morning so that people can see what's actually going on. I've been circling the buildings, and I think this is the one we're supposed to go into? Looks as being about the right location. Uh, hopefully this is the one that will get us into the... I think this is going to be one of those ones where you spend a while going up and down and in between levels, and there'll be some tightrope walking and all sorts of stuff, or whatever. Alright, let's go. Start on the right, work our way around. Duct tape. So much duct tape. I think I found our pathway. Right, this gets us out on the roof, and I'm assuming a little bit of parkour later. This will get, yep, up here. De nope, that door is sealed. I'm sure there will be jump offs. Ooh, there's scrap over there. That means we get to there at some point. How do we get up there, though? We'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a long trek. I might have to spend the night out here, though. I don't think I can take care of everything all in the allotted time frame, as in daylight hours. You can't really sleep. I, mean, I could if I maybe left all the scrap behind, but that's not going to happen. Ooh. Great, what do you got? Eh, uh, glass and stuff. No, nothing too major. I am going to leave all the plastic and stuff, though, behind. I need to stop taking plastic and wood, because we definitely do not need it, and... Is that it? How do I get out of here? How do I continue this? Ah. Huh. Maybe that ledge? Let me do some exploring. I think I'm just going to try the ledge. It does not seem like it should work, but... Never mind. I don't know if this is where we're supposed to be going or just a... Yeah. A slightly nerve-wracking place to be. No, uh, there's a crate. We're probably meant to be up here in some way, shape, or form. Question is, is there any way to continue this on? Well, then we can go around that way if needs be. All right, first, let's uh, grab this stuff. Metal ingots? Hinge? Bolt? Yeah, totally worth it. Question is, can we get to over here somewhere? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That means there is a way in that building somehow. I need to figure that out. Sorry, I should be more clear. I can see that wire there leading over to there, and actually I don't know if the angle is going up or down, but presuming that angle is going towards that building. Actually, no, it's the other way around. Leading towards this building. Damn it! I was really hoping we find a way to that section. Okay, looks like we'll have to find an entrance into there, maybe? So we find an entrance into there, that gives us a rope into here, and that gives us a rope down to there. Okay, let's keep moving. All right, let's see. Seaside Barber Shop. Nope, you do not have an active door. But something over here should. Yeah, there's the... There's the crisscross of wire. So somewhere in here, there is an entrance. Notice, keycard rendered out of order. Please use elevator in plantation area. Right, that's why we need the duct tape. So we go back down and into the plantation area under the city. And the elevator in the Undercity gets us there. That makes sense. Let me help you. No, you cannot help me. Go away. Uh, yeah, this is the exit down there. I've actually gotten pretty good at figuring out where I am. This is the central location. And right there ahead of us is where we came in. From the under underworld, or underbelly, whatever. This is where we take all that duct tape we got. And we're going to use that to access the plantation area, I presume. Of course, we still have to deal with all the uh, electricity. Okay, use three duct tape. What does that do? Seriously? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Alright, three duct tape here as well. I think? I think we just fixed it. Oh, thank god. And I guess let's grab all of these strawberries and get out of here. You know what, I don't even care about any of these plants or trees anymore. We've got everything we wanted. Let's move out. Hmm. Nice collection of tools you've got here. I even brought a head torch for when the lights went down. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. And what do you got over here? Ooh, blueprint. Electrical purifier. Okay, that makes making water a lot simpler. Loading bay, elevator, elevator. Or loading bay. This is leads back to the start, does it? I want to do a quick bit of exploration before we hit up the elevator. I presume this unlocks some stuff. 
Yep. This is where we came in before, so that opens this area up so we can get back in here quicker next time around. Yep, perfect. Alright, let's see if we can't get into the building now. Well, a minus four on the elevator, that looks perfect. Well, hmm. We'll check out floor zero, however, I have a strange feeling floor zero will be just robots and stuff. Yeah, opens from the inside. Yep, that's the one keycard thing out of order. Well, now it's open. Right, floor eight. Hmm. Nice balloons. I presume they're balloons. I mean, they kind of look like them. Bar. Couple of coupons. I should really spend those before we go. Oh, even more. Yeah, drug people will drop stuff. And right, what else have we got? Nothing. There's so much to explore. I think I've, I've actually left a bunch of stuff downstairs I should go back for. Well, looky here. If it isn't the actual zipline thing we've been looking for. Uh, what's over there? Nothing we really care about. Yeah, we've got enough duct tape. We, we actually have leftover duct tape. We have five duct tape right there. So we're good to go. Let's go for a little... Oh, I can see the rat from here. Can we take that rat from this distance? That might be a little bit too far even for the bow. Oh! What a shot! Did you see that? That's all that mountain blade training paying off. Alright, let's go. That was uh, fun as it was. Let's go over there and say hello to this guy. Oop. Oop. Ooh. Ooh. Right, you would not want to do that without, like, a stiff drink beforehand. That is super dangerous. To a broken window, no less. Where'd that rat go? Yeah, ratty, ratty, ratty. I'll turn on the light so we can see better. I would go back to the raft and sleep, but it'd take too long to get through all of that stuff again, so we're just gonna have to live with some darkness for a while. Keep waiting for that rat that we shot to show up. Is it still, like, did it aggro through us and is now, like, passing across the entire map to get to us on the other building? Seems improbable. I hear it. Yeah, we'll worry about it when it runs into us. They're not really that much of a threat on this difficulty level. I presume on a higher difficulty level they would be much more dangerous, but oop. Oh, 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 that was a lovely shot. Yeah. You can tell that's our guy due to the arrow sticking through him. Beautiful. All right, let's do this. Uh, what else have we got in here? Great. Copper ore, copper ore, vine and a hinge. There's some decent loot out here, it's just we don't really need it. I may have over-prepared slightly for this section of the game. Eh, keep going up. Eh, top floor. That means there is a window open or a zip line present. Since this is a bar, please tell me you got some more tokens. Don't need them, but I want them. Yep, zip line present. No tokens. Let's just go. No point hanging around. And the sunlight is just coming up. Perfect. Now, I know I'm not supposed to go around here, but I'm going to have a look anyway. You can't not. All right, so as anticipated, this is the only way up. Fine, fine, fine. So, one survivor would be the tradition so far? Whoop. Ah, my bad. That's my half-life training in there. You just fall down ladders all the damn time. Okay. Uh... Where's the survivor? There's going to be one around here, or do we have to kill something first? Uh, yeah, that's going to take a minute. Oh, never mind. I, this is a very short elevator. Floor number two, please. Anybody home? Uh, I think I'm going to food up before I go any further, just in case. And uh, give me some water. And then, you know what? Swap in our spare water. Oh, God, we are a little bit overburdened. Who cares? We'll figure it out. New note added. Uh, Tranquil Street, Exterior Lane, Bazaar Street, and Partisan Road. Okay, scissors. Oh, no! That's some sort of electromagnet. That's a scissors. That's... I don't know what that is. 
And you are a blueprint for large storage. Well, that's, uh... Let's see. Huh? Well... Huh. Strangeness? What are you? Emergency bridge launch. Ah. Uh, we need to put in a code. I didn't collect a code. Check my notes. Uh, let's try 7747. Could try forcing it, but I'm kind of... No, no. Let's go find the note. The only thing we have to go on is five key cards, which maybe opens more buildings, duct tape, some vending machine tokens, and this. So Tranquil... It is a four-digit code, so Tranquil Street, Exterior Lane, Bazaar Street, and Partisan Road. Where's that donut shop? Maybe this is a donut... Wait, is there a burger shop? Seaside Barbers. Yeah, there's Barber Street. Okay, let's go check for numbers. Uh, Main Street? You can die. Uh, Bazaar Street, I should say. So, Bazaar Street, uh, Seaside... Snip... Oh, snip your stash, okay. Go away. What we're looking for here is a number, or preferably two. Number three. Oop. Uh, so if that's number three, that's the third digit in the code. We need the others. Exterior lane and memory lane. So exterior lane is where the second one is? Yep, yeah, exterior lane is where the second one is. Alright, burger place, what's your number? Is that an eight? Zero. Huh. Oh, damn it, there's a lot more numbers than I thought. I have to be much, much more careful about this. Okay, so you're definitely an eight. I need to get to Tranquil Street, maybe, to find the first digit. And then I'll go around again. All right, so this is an eight. That's the second part of the code. I think I have located the second one. Go back off. There's uh, this v VR arca arcade. Now, the reason I think it's this one and number four is because of those weird goggle things. I thought the goggles were sea goggles, but it's actually VR goggles. Bye-bye, buddy. So that's a four. So it's four, eight, and then we need to find Bazaar Street. Bazaar Street. All right. Bazaar, Bazaar, whatever. So, Bazaar Street. We're looking for scissors person. Well, would you look at that. If it's in the seaside barber at number one. So we're looking at 481. Uh, we found Partisan Street. Now we're looking for a sort of an electromagnet thing. Never mind. It's a floating thing. It's that little symbol there. Oop, oop. Go away. So that means it's number three. So we got four, eight, one, three. Let's go check it out. Huh. There was a note down here. How did I miss that on the way out? No, sir. They haven't done anything hostile. Yes. They're still just chanting. Yes, sir. I am armed. But if I may speak freely, we are able to use the water cannons if... I wanted the ladder. Where is the... What just happened? Um... I... Where... Where's the rest of the place now? Well, that's no good. Uh... Do we have to go find where it fell and get the parts of it or something? I think I found the top of the tower. Uh, let's just keep going. There should be a closer exit we can get out to it. We're gonna pop over there. Oh, and I do have to go back in. There's some elevator I'm supposed to find a secret button on that's been mentioned in the comments a couple of times. But uh, for now, we'll go over and I, I want to finish this. And luckily, we did bring our flippers and Bruce does stay close to the raft. So let's just swim it. I considered going back for the raft and driving all the way over here, but that seemed excessive. How far? Yeah, this is not that far. It's grand. There's a ladder right there. We'll be out of here in no time. 
Bruce. No, yeah, we're good. I do gotta ask though, who designed this thing? It seems a bit excessive that you have an emergency escape thing on top. I mean, it's it's it sounds like it was designed by a supervillain. This does not sound like it was designed by someone who had efficiency in mind. Oh, uh, that's yep, that's much better. Wait a minute, have you been sitting here like? How long have you been sitting in that? You know what? You, you just keep sitting there. That's fine. Uh, what are you? Ooh, I think I know what that is. Next destination, Varuna Point. Okay, then. And you are... Water tank. Perfect. That means we can start watering stuff with our sprinklers automatically. That... Yes, 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 yes. And we're going to go loot the place. My name is James Tully. This is my final message. Tangaroa City was built on a purely theoretical basis. Using engines that had barely been tested. Held together by the sweat and tears of our crew. But we were never sustainable. I should have accepted that months ago. When the rafters arrived, I could have let them starve with us. But I didn't. The only right choice was to abandon Tangaroa to the waves. Now I will stay here, trapped in the cockpit, with two dozen idiots who used to run the world. Don't worry. We'll pay for our sins before the end. Hmm. Huh. Good plan. Well, judging by the age of those people who used to rule the world, they're probably all dead from old age by now anyway. Except for, who's Elaine? Oh, you there! Get me out of this thing! Oh. Next time, I would appreciate a heads up before launching. I tried to leave when the first shots were fired. Tangaroa was doomed from the start. If you get me a ride out of here, I can offer you entrepreneurial consulting. Plus, I, put I did some sailing in my youth. Won a few championships. I'll be useful. Wonderful. You can count on me. Yeah. You know, I haven't considered cannibalism so far in this playthrough, but uh, she's she's very tempting to put up for, for cannibalism. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's get out of here. Actually, wait, nope. I gotta go back and find that secret. One second. I uh, gotta go elevator hunting. Remember this elevator here? Yeah, well, I just went and looked up a guide. I could not, for the life of me, figure out what they were talking about in the, in the message. Come on. Well, this elevator, the one with the keycard out of order thing... Uh, yeah, over here. All right, you press that button. I would never have caught that. Honestly, without the comments, I wouldn't even thought to look. And even when I was told to look, I didn't realize which elevator it was, and I didn't know what kind of... I was, like, looking in the corners for buttons. You know, never mind. All right, I deserve none of this due to this being told to me instead of me finding it naturally. So, and an achievement. Two scrap, a bolt and a hinge, and last bolt, titanium ore. Ooh. Elevator cassette tape. You know what? I'll just loot the last of the place and then we'll take that. Okay, cassette, what you got for us? Elevator cassette. Oh no, it's the elevator music. No, I didn't want... Well, fine. We've got everything we need. Let's go. Back in our wonderful junker here, we have a few things that we can now research because of what we acquired. Water... Well, actually, more importantly... Electric purifier can be connected with water pipes. This will purify the water without us having to constantly refill stuff. A water tank that can be connected with water pipers, pipes to the purifier. So then we can hook the water purifier up to the water tank and we can hook the water tank up to the sprinkler system. And then we've got large storage. You stored a lot of items. We'll probably use that at some point. And then water pipes. I haven't got into healing salves or whatever it is. I I'm not really worried about that. Otherwise, we'd be getting our hands on cluckers or chickens or whatever they're called. Um, right. Let's do a little bit of raft upgrading, shall we? I have been doing a bit of planning here, and uh, by planning I mean filling out the back end so we have a little more space, and I think we're going to put our water supply, uh, sort of dump it somewhere around here. Maybe so we can keep it close to this area. We're going to want to water this so that the uh, the llamas can keep growing, and I'm probably going to want to move my crops a bit. And I probably should drink some water so that we don't pass out unconscious. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to want to move our crops or at least maybe run a long pipe to sprinkle them. We want to make sure that all of this grass gets watered and all of our crops get watered automatically without us having to do anything. So for that, we have crafted the necessary pieces. Uh, first up, we have 
The electric purifier can be connected with water pipes. It takes four titanium ingots. We had like 17, I think, at the start. A circuit board, which is just copper and plastic. A bunch of plastic and some scrap. And the resulting thing is this. Now, you also notice at the back there, it's got a hose. That seems to need to go into the water. You can't put this on the second floor. And the hose part has to go into the water in some way. Now, at first, I was going to do it this way, and then I realized that the water pipes are going to be touching the fuel pipes, and I thought that was going to be a problem. However, it turns out there's two different types of pipes in this game. Uh, the first pipe is this one over here, fuel pipes. So fuel pipes and water pipes are two completely different things. Which means we can just go like this. There's a water pipe seemingly coming out of there. And then... Like this? Yeah, we should be able to get water up to the second floor. Uh, the other thing, though, is I think I have to power this somehow. Hmm. Ooh, actually, can we... Hey! That actually works. Though, yeah, I should probably armor that up. Done. That way we can put the battery, or replace the battery as necessary. Yeah. Probably an awkward place to put it. Fine, fine, fine. All right. Uh, let me get upstairs, though. We want to put ourselves... Ooh, where are we going to put the water tank? I mean, we could put the water tank over this side. And that would be closer to our crops over there. Less piping required. Actually, that might be the smart plan. I moved the antenna out of the way, and there seems to be an in and an out on these, so... Uh, judging from where the water's coming from, I think we might go this way. Bring in the water from down there, in here, and the outflow can go in here to sprinklers and up and across the top to sprinklers over there, or maybe we move the crops slightly. I'll figure that out when I get to that bridge. Uh, for now, let's see if we can't put some pipes here. Come on. Yeah, I knew you could do that. Uh, in that case, can you come sideways, maybe? Or do we... I think we're going to have to put in flooring. One second, let me run this piping. Okay, okay, I th that seems to work. Should probably put a battery in that and start it up. We have plenty of batteries, though. I might make a few more and possibly some more battery chargers. Namely because, well, you can never have enough, it seems. But I think we get a better battery charger later and we get access to more advanced batteries. Uh, you, go in there. Cool. That, I presume, is working? And how's this water tank looking? Place bottle of fresh water. Oh, never mind. That's the inn. Let's go to the end. Fill with fresh water. Fill with fresh water. You got more? No, it needs fresh water. No, no, it's actually filled up again. Perfect, so this automates fresh water collection. Well, in that case, um... I'm going to fill this up from our, our currently existing stockpiles over here. I mean, we won't need those anymore, so we might as well get the water out of them while we have it. These ones, though, are completely free. Well, they require labor. Considering you'd make enough of them, I don't think you really need this, but... I'm going to do it anyway. It just cuts down on labor. Being able to chuck in one battery and then not worry about it for a while seems like a much nicer way of doing things. I should also point out the water tank required three titanium ingots, which has left us with... I think it should be about ten titanium. Yep, we've only got 10 titanium ingots left after all of that. And that's with smelting up all the ores we found lying around the place. So this was reasonably expensive. Now I want to see about sprinklers. Uh, sprinkler system. Waters your crops automatically. Seems to be missing a battery, though. Right. So we're going to need a battery for these as well. I've got a feeling I'm going to need a second battery charger sooner rather than later. Behold! The mighty sprinkler! Uh, which is... Get, get out of the way! Ser oh, stop clustering around it. Uh, down here, you'll see what's written on it. It actually shows you what the sprinklers area is. It's basically a 3x3 three three grid. And I presume it's like starting from here and then spreading out in that direction. Well, that is the... It looks kind of logically like that should be how it works. Now, let's grab ourselves some piping. Then we should be able to hook this up like that. It goes through the wall into that sprinkler. Oh, needs a battery. I'm going to need a lot of batteries, aren't I? Fine, I'll make like... Four or five more batteries in a minute. Right now, though, you can go there. And... Hey! Uh, oh, wow, what are all of them? Now, does that... I think it only activates when it actually needs power, so that should be that done. Over here, what I've done is I've installed a bunch of extra potato crops. I want to make sure we can do all the potatoes simultaneously. In fact... What? Let's... Let's plant these suckers. I want to see if these all get watered at the same time if we hook up this sprinkler system here. Now, which reminds me we should stick in the battery real quick. And then we're going to want to put in some piping. Piping might be a little bit trickier. I might have to put down some more walls and all sorts of... Yep, yep. 
damn it, I'm gonna have to put some supports under this so that there's... The piping always seems to need something under it, which I suppose makes sense in a way. And, and you, I need more nails, damn it. Right, well, I have hooked it up arseways, but it has automatically watered all the crop plants, though that's coming directly from this machine down here. I would prefer if it was coming from the water tank. Yep, and we're running short on water. That's okay, we have plenty of water here and we can refill from this anytime we want. In fact, let's just top up right now. Done, problem solved. Now I would like to maybe, ugh, I'm gonna have to redo all this piping, aren't I? It is hideous, but it works. Uh, water comes from down here, goes into the in pipe and then uh, the out pipe feeds into that sprinkler system, which then also feeds all the way around here into this sprinkler system so our potatoes can grow, which is just wonderful. Now we have, Increased potato production. I might even chuck in some more potatoes around here just so that we can mass produce them as time requires. Uh, how are we looking here? You know what? Let, let, let's grab ourselves some more potato soup. We can make lots of it now. Before we leave Tangaroa and its joys, sorry we're doing this at night, but uh, I kind of got curious about the vending machines. I was going to come back here and spend all our tokens. We have 17 of them. And I was looking for what would be good to buy. And the thing is, we've already got a machete, all this stuff here, we've already got that. I don't care about the food, the water, the bottles, anything like that. Over here it has a bunch of potted plants. I don't really care. And I think this is art. I didn't know what it was at first, but I'm pretty sure this is art. The only things, though, I'm really interested in there is there's a piano and a cassette player. So, yes, please, I'll take their piano. Uh... Cool. And I'll take your cassette player. Thank you. Now, how many do we have left? I probably should have counted those up. Uh, we have three coins left. Well, I'm going to see if I was right about this being art. Now, which one do we want? Actually, I recognize that painting. That one there I saw it in one of the buildings we went through. I am kind of partial to blue, so... Off we go. Perfect. Now let's go back to the ship and uh, apply some decorations. We appear to have a painting and a piano to put down and a cassette player or radio for our little side table. We now have a piano. Um, cool. Yep, that, that sounds about right. Uh, cool, uh, seven, six, seven. Yeah, I'm not a very good pianist, it seems. Uh, how do I... How do I get up? Hey, I'm done. Get me out of here. All right, that's just going to take up a lot of space. Oh, next up, uh, cassette player. You can go... Nope. Wait, is this the cassette player? I was told it was going to be a cassette player. Right, can you go on top of that? No, you can't. Go right there. No batteries required, it appears. And where is that cassette we had? You know what? Never mind. Let's put that a painting. You can go on that. No, that is not a very good wall for that. Beautiful. Excellent. Slightly askew, but I think we can survive. Nice. Oh, more biofuel. Dear God, how is there just so many flying rats. These things are ridiculous. They're everywhere. And they are providing us with an awful lot of biofuel, but it's just uh, frustrating taking care of all the debris from them. How are you looking? Ooh, two more biofuel. In fact, I think I'm just going to stop providing biofuel for a little while, namely because we just have so much. There's no point. We've got gallons of honey, and the food comes in pretty regularly, so I'm not going to care too much. All right, time to head to our next location. And you. Quiet. Oh, and before we start, yes, yes, there's something we need to do. This says 197. That is how many tiles we have touching the water, as in these tiles down here. And I have skimmed off a whole bunch of them because I wanted to go down be below 200. Reason being, each one of these engines can move 100 tiles. Yeah, the instructions are written on everything. So this can move 100 tiles. So since we've gone below 200, we only need two engines, which means you can go. Done. I might need to wall that in. Eh. Or not. You know what? Leave it there. If, if... 
If Barry comes back and starts attacking it, we'll care. If he doesn't, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Anyway, let's uh, start the engines, put it in reverse, and let's get out of here. I want to hit up one island and buy ourselves some titanium before we move on. Uh, reversing away. Let's see where the direction should be taking us. Tide wants us to go that direction. We're going to follow the tide and go to the nearest island. Okay, there is an island 880 meters to our left. I think we're going to head that direction. In fact, I'm going to turn on the engines. We've got the biofuel to burn. Let's burn it, getting somewhere we want. And, oh, yeah, let's put them into forwards, maybe. Uh, I wonder where the shop is here. The thing is, we want to go to a shop because, well, we've been cranking out a lot of trash cubes. I don't mean like, oh, we got a few. No, we got 20, 40, 60. We got 80 trash cubes to sell off. We're going to clean these guys out of titanium and pretty much anything we want with this much. And then we're going to head on to the next island. I just want to stock up on titanium because all we've got at the moment is currently six bars. And I have a strange feeling we're going to get more tech or something that requires a lot more titanium. And I would like to buy as much as we can before we move on any further. This metal detector thing's pretty handy. Any titanium? No, mostly junk, unfortunately. Oh, well, we'll, we'll keep looking. There's got to be more on this island. Plus, we can find... Oh, the shop soon. When it comes to boars and stuff on the islands, I don't really care anymore. I sort of just dodge them. There's no incentive to kill them. We've got plenty of leather. We've got plenty of meat that's food. The only reason I'd kill them is if they were going to stop me from getting to my objective, which is the shop at the top. But I don't think they're going to be able to do that. And famous last words. Well, that's only one hit. Yeah, we'll be fine. Seems they can't climb stairs. Or maybe they can? Oh god, seriously? <coughs> Thanks for the push. And we've also got a bird. <coughs> seriously? I gotta stop saying seriously. <coughs> These guys just keep chasing. <coughs> fine then. That's what you're gonna do. I will have to kill you. Oh my god, there's three of them. I may have made a mistake. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> uh, surrender and respawn. Well, that sucked. Okay, so I do have to kill them. I really thought once we got away from them, they would stop following. Well, you learn something new every day. Thankfully, we have plenty of resources. So, turns out we do have to kill all of these things. This is slightly annoying. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Damn it! When you could have died just a little bit earlier, maybe you would have lost all that junk and had to spend all that time recrafting. It's fine. It's fine. It just means more heads for the actual biofuel refining. Hey, buddy, come here. Yep, there's the birdie. He's going to become annoying rather quickly. Uh, I think I would like to get higher up before I deal with it. For now, we'll just dodge that and kill the warthogs that surround here somewhere. I know there's one, because he was here last time, and there was three of them that ganged up on me. One alone is fine, but three is a problem. Hey, come back here. I think the bird has stopped noticing us. Huh, we may have got out of its aggro range. I might regret saying that, though. Alright, while we are here... What we can do is we can sell... Yeah, I heard that guy. We can sell that lunar fish. And we can buy stuff. Namely, tier 3. Give me some of that titanium ore. How many do you have? Costs 3 trash cubes, 1 trade coin. 1, two, 3. Thank you kindly. That's 15 titanium. Pretty sure that's close to the most we've ever had. Alright. Now. Maybe do a little bit of fishing while we're waiting. I think while I'm here, I'm also going to buy a few other things, like all the metal ore they've got in stock. Fifteen metal ore will go a long way. Also, all the scrap they've got, we need that too. Fifteen scrap? Yes, please. Maybe they're out of stock of everything else. Hmm. Compass? Nah. Wardrobe, let you change the color of your clothing. We are not that... We, we don't... We don't care. Hearty stew? Yeah, cool. It gives all the different recipes and stuff. Ah! Advanced small crop plot. Sure, it costs six trash cubes. Advanced medium crop plot. Eh, I'm never going to use it. Who am I kidding? Like, I already have all the stuff I really want, so... Ooh, Viking horn. 
I I misspoke. I did not have that. And a trading post cassette. Never mind, we, we're out of trash cubes. Oops. Oh well. Uh, let's go. Ooh, another a llama for the collection. I might go back and grab the uh, the net gun for that. There's also a goat on here that can give us milk, but uh, I don't care. I just want more of that wool. The wool we can turn into more scrap or scrap cubes. Uh, it takes two wool to make a scrap cube. And that scrap cube can be sold for titanium. Come here, llama. Come here. Come here. Come, nope, nope, nope. Gotta make sure you get them from the front. Uh, you want them charging towards you. Usually they have some sort of patrol path and then... Oof. Then once they head right at you, nab them. And we get to rename them. You can be... A cow. Perfect. Now, if we could just get a few more. I think... I wasn't really that concerned about getting them earlier, but now that we have the automated sprinkling setup, we can just dump them in here and I think we can support one for every grass patch. So... That's uh, nine. We can support nine of them, and we already have five. Perfect. Come down. We're on our way to the next location. We have plenty of titanium. I'm ready for whatever life throws at us. We got Varuna Point, 5313. We have inputted that into our little destination thingy, and we are a thousand meters away from it. We have two engines going full steam ahead, and we are on our way. Uh, at the time being, what I'm doing is making sure to keep up with harvesting these guys. Uh, keeping these three running flat out so we have plenty of trash cubes coming in. I want to make sure that next time we visit a shop, we're good to go. We're also taking all of the sand we've got. Uh, one second. We're taking all that sand and we're smelting it up. Reason being, it turns into glass. The glass we can bind with the honeycombs. And that's what gives us the other half of the inputs for our biofuel. So we need the glass to make the... Combine with the honeycombs to make the honey pots. And then, to actually turn that into biofuel, we usually grab... Actually, I'm starting to use the heads. I want to get rid of these heads, we don't need them anymore. Well, maybe we do, but I, I'm not aware of it. One head basically allows you to get two biofuel out of it. Perfect. Dump them in there, and then uh, then we'll switch back to the bird legs. We'd sort of run out of those, so I figured we'd switch over to the bird legs, and you guys... Nope, still have not grown back their fur. Looking at the clock, I'm well past the 40 minute mark, so there's just no way I'm going to get more than a, like a scratch the surface of the next area. So I'm going to cut this out here. Next up, we're going to hit, hit up Varuna Point. Uh, I believe it's Utopia. Wait, no. Is Utopia a different one? Whatever. I'm sure it will be a lovely place that won't be full of horrible things that are trying to kill us. Because this is Raft, and nothing like that will ever happen. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Good luck.